Leather bike saddles feature a leather top suspended on a metal frame. With time and use, the leather molds itself to perfectly suit the rider's anatomy and their cycling style. And just like a pair of leather shoes, the saddle becomes very comfortable. Leather bike saddles look almost the same as they did 100 years ago. They are still made by hand and by some machinery that is sometimes over 60 years old. Saddles are made exclusively of metal and leather, traditional materials that retain the style and quality of the early days. The first step is making the steel wire springs for saddles that have a suspension. The machine coils and cuts the wire to the proper length. Liquid lubricant keeps everything running smoothly. Depending on the saddle's model, some springs are then chromed. This machine folds and curls steel or titanium wire to form brackets. It's adjustable so it can make brackets of different sizes and shapes depending on the model being produced. A technician assembles the springs and brackets to form the saddle's frame. He attaches the clamp so that the saddle can be attached to the bicycle seat post. Saddles come in different sizes and shapes, with or without suspension springs, to accommodate various riding styles racing, mountain biking, or city commuting. Now for the saddle's leather top. Using a hydraulic clicking press, the worker cuts the leather with a sharp blade. The blade cuts ventilation holes at the same time. Tanneries provide leather in any color required by the factory. After the tops are cut, they soak in tepid water for 20 minutes to an hour until the leather is completely saturated. The wet leather top then goes to a press, which applies 2,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. Using a leather cushion, the technician pads the leather piece to help reinforce the shape, especially in the narrow front end. Because the top is wet, it retains the shape and does not bounce back. They carefully sand the leather to get a smooth edge. The tops now go into the oven for three hours at a maximum temperature of 55 degrees Celsius. Now they're ready for the finishing process. A worker rivets a nameplate to the rear of the saddle. then stamps a trademark on each side. Each saddle model has its own trademark. They attach the nose to the front of the saddle using solid copper rivets. They hammer each one down carefully to follow the contours of the leather without scratching it. This machine now rivets the frame to the back of the saddle. They insert a tension pin between the frame and the nose. This pin will allow the rider to adjust his saddle if the leather starts sagging after a few years. It takes about three days to make a leather bike saddle. And with careful care, it can be used for years to come.